this old reel trailer get some repairs and upgrades to make it more functional from uh, when we threw it together real quick one evening. So I'll give you a little background history on this. Uh, bought it many years ago at a auction. Uh, basically it was uh, the trailer frame with the axle and uh, a pile of loose steel parts. The whole uh, pivoting assembly there was all cut up into pieces. I think somebody bought it at a auction somewhere else and had their own idea for it. And I saw it sitting in a pile there and well, I knew exactly what that was. Uh, makings of it was there one of those things couldn't pass up. Fast forward probably five to seven, eight years since then and all of a sudden I needed it for a job. I had a bunch of three inch continuous HDP pipe I needed to unspool off while we were getting some directional drilling done and uh, needed to be able to feed it to them. Uh, while we are getting that all figured out and the pipe was ordered up and coming in down and found a pile of parts and dug through the steel rack and enough stuff there. And around 3 o'clock in the afternoon is when I started building it and I think I had her pretty much ready to roll for the next day by about supper time. Just locking up what we had, that's why it's kind of, uh, you know, structurally sound but it's not really what it should be. It's, it's decent meal to uh, get a job done. So that's what we're doing is fine tuning it a little bit, hopefully it'll work better. exactly where you need it with the screw jack. Uh, did the dump truck frame the same way using four screw jacks. Get her set up here and then I'll uh, show you what I mean about the tip over point on that pivot. Hold the pin here and show you what I mean. Yeah, looks to be 
be about that size. As you can see, it moves in it off and it's not going back by itself, so that's our, our problem. The other problem is the handle bits here. I just want to put my, my fat butt on here and see where we're sort of. Build a, a stop here on each side. Right? Yeah. And build another stop here. I would put it on and off that stop I could work the rest of the gets on it. behind the axle here with the weight. I want to keep the tongue weight on it, so a little plumb bob made with a crescent wrench and some twine. We got a plan on what we're doing here. A measurement made, so if anything changes we can mock it back up. Like I say, you can, you can see where we've Placed onto this once already here. Anything rusty is uh, an addition, basically. What we're going to do now, we're going to rip the winch off here. And figure out we're going to cut the tongue here to extend it out. We can figure out the rest of our mods here. We don't think this even is. We get the right piece. That was really nice. I would have got you an ratchet wrench. <laughs> Got a few more things to it too. Got no tail lights on it, no safety chains. Uh, to replace the jack on it. You won't tell you why. Another oopsie.
Hold on, hold on, hold on. So in these videos here, you're going to see me jumping around a lot, uh, kind of used to doing that when I'm working by myself, I'll run over, start this while something else is cooling off, or etc, etc, and uh, it's just more efficient, I, I find I lose a lot of time setting cameras up and around and all that stuff, and uh, kind of curious how you other YouTubers are, uh, how much time you really lose by filming what you're doing, but uh, anyway, the hopping around is because of uh, trying to keep things still efficient. Well, the next problem we're going to solve is tackling some tail light. And uh, I think we're going to build some pieces that come off of here. And we'll cut some ovals in it. And we'll probably fix the wires back through the frame. So mark it out, make them the same, and uh, figure that up. A quarter from there. Here, we push that wire through. And I think the other thing to do is you cut a hole back in right through here, through both sides, and I should be able to fish that wire up through to the back, out in, up into the battery box area there. We can tie all everything together that way. So what I've got going here is the uh, tail light boxes there. The X's are the pieces where the jacks or the, the stands at the back so it doesn't flip over and be. So we had to move the tail lights out and over. Uh, just squaring it up, centering it, and we'll punch a little marker light in the outside after.
Okay, so what I got going on here, we got those holes plasmed out for the oval light. And out of the scrap, I cut off the ends there. I wanted to use the small stuff there because I don't have any thin two inch flat bar. So uh, a lot easier to pop those little three quarter inch marker lights into eighth inch material than a quarter. So we're gonna weld the caps on there and then drill them out for the holes. With the end caps done, uh, makes a difference which one's drivers, which one's passengers as soon as I drill these holes for the marker light. So I'm putting them down right on the bottom to match the front now. And uh, okay, you got the marker lights drilled out. Pretty much be ready to pop together that way. Cookie cutters. We'll drill this out in case the wire is through. And then we'll pop a three-quarter inch uh, marker light in here after each side. Okay, what we're gonna do here, I got uh, to clamp all my jigs up like this. It makes it pretty uh, simple. Try to use angle or channel and clamp it all together. Four clamps, four clamps, and uh, usually pretty good. So I'll hammer it in here, that's how tight fit it is. And uh, check it for square and we'll get on hot glue in it.
little bit of change of plans here. Originally we were gonna splice in a chunk on that. Uh, decided against it. Just didn't want to hack that up and splice it twice and uh, ended up getting a new piece to extend the tongue here. Uh, saved a bit of work that way and changed the hitch around. So we wanted to drop it down a little bit further there. So weld that on, brace it back in and uh, allow for some safety chain holders. So we got it all done up over here and filled the holes where the winch was. And uh, I'm going to be building the blocks here pretty soon for this, for it to rest on, and then we can do the pulley and all that. And this is where we're at here with the light boxes currently. Uh, they're all glued on, on both sides here. Marker light punched in, and uh, I'm not sure, I guess you can't really see there, but we got the holes cord, so we're going to push some wire through there after. Oh, we've got the hitch done up here. It's uh, going to drop it down another, well, probably two inches what it was there, and uh, safety chain holders now. So that should uh, definitely cut the mustard for this. Got the jack glued on here now. Uh, allowed 24 inches, so a guy can pull the tailgate down. Okay, so we got busy with this. We got the uh, stop here to hold it. And we're also going to use it as a pin. Just have a shim in there waiting for it to cool. We've got the bottom there in case you get moisture in there and uh, dirt or whatever. You can wash it out easy enough. I did cap the top anyway, but have to pull that shim out, weld the insides, and uh, clean her up, and then we'll have to get putting the pulley on over here still. So we've got the pulley glued back on in a spot where it won't be rubbing on the cable now. Thank you, sucker, a little bit tight here. And battery tray built for the garden tractor battery that we uh, use on just about all these little trailers. Uh, long story short, uh, get less hassle from the DOT when I have a decent sized battery and uh, test the brakes more than once had that problem with that tri-axle trailer. They roadsided me. And uh, after I pulled the pin the first time, they wouldn't uh, have enough charge to uh, test it again. So they uh, finally let me go, but long story short, uh, yeah, I went with a bigger battery after that. So you can see that hole cut through into the other frame there. Should be able to chase the wires through for these lights. make that turn now. So just to summarize, got the lights put on there, frames all punched out, ready to, to go. Same here. This box is done and ready to go as well. Marker lights to chase the wires. They're ready to go. Battery box. Gonna put the trailer wiring harness connector over here. Put the pulley and the stop and the pin. Uh, tongue's extended, you can uh, drill and tap for the winch after we paint it, and jacks on it, and uh, adjustable ring, so uh, good for the pintle there. So, let, uh, let's check off the welding is being done. Thanks for watching. If you uh, want to see more videos like this, please remember to like and subscribe and we'll try to keep it coming.